and now about uh, percentage profit percent or loss percent how to how to calculate for profit percent and loss percent next percent in that one percent means per 100 per 100 how much how much profit per 100 how much loss so the meaning of percent means per 100 per as it is per per 100 per 100 so profit or loss for for 10000 20000 uh, the, some, some profit will come, so some loss will come. How to calculate profit or loss we learned just now. And that profit or loss for 20,000, 2,000 rupees, then per 100, how much? If the loss is 10,000, loss is 10,000, per 100, how much? So that we are going to, no, no, that is called percentage. Percentage, profit percent or loss percent. Percent means per 100, profit or loss percentage, calculate on cost price only this is important we have to remember we'll calculate profit or loss percentage only on cost price so that is profit percent equals to profit by cost price in 200 loss percent equals to loss by cost price in 200 see here whether it may be profit percent whether it may be loss percent profit percent or loss percent will calculate only on cost price easy to remember this formula profit percent equals to profit by cp in 200 loss percent means loss by cp in 200 this by cp in 200 common in the both just profit means profit will come here loss means loss will come here so profit by cp in 200 means profit percent Loss by CP in 200 means loss percent. Okay. Remember these two, upon these, these, these two formulae, we are going to see some more example problems. First example problem in that one. See the problem. Sonia purchased a gold ring at 20,000 rupees. Purchased means it is clearly cost price. Okay. After two years, the gold price increased. So, she sold it for 25,000. See here once again, Sonia purchased a gold ring at 20,000 rupees. After two years, the gold price increased. So, she sold it for 25,000. Purchased, it is cost price. Sold. It is selling price. Now, next. She got profit or loss. If profit, what is profit percent? If loss, what is loss percent? Coming to solution of this problem, write down given information. Cost price purchased. So, cost price of a gold ring is 20,000. Selling price. She sold it for 25,000. So, selling price of the gold ring is 25,000. So, clearly, SP is 25,000, CP is 20,000. So, SP is greater than CP. What we will get? Profit. We know how to find, we know that how to find profit. Profit equals to SP minus CP. Straight away substitute here. SP is 25,000. CP is 20,000. So 25,000 minus 20,000, 5,000. How much profit Sonia will get? 5,000. Now, one more question asked. She got profit or loss means profit. That is 5,000. One more, one more question in that one. Find profit percent. She did not got loss. So that's why we need not to find loss percent. She got profit. That's why profit percent. We know profit percent formula. I told to remember easily we can remember profit percent is equals to profit by CP into 100 profit how much 5000 substitute here cost price 20,000 substitute here so 5000 by 20,000 in 200 as it is now cancellation look here three zeros three zeros in numerator and denominator will get cancelled 
what remains 5 by 20 5 ones are 5 fours are. so 1 by 4 in 200 as it is now again cancellation 4 ones are 4 25 so 1 into 25 25 percent profit so how by by selling gold ring for 25,000 so we are getting how much profit percent 25 okay one more problem second one if cost price of one dozen x if cost price of one dozen x 72 rupees and selling price of one egg is four rupees here selling price of one dozen x not given cost price of one dozen x is 72 and selling price of one egg is four rupees given then find profit or loss if profit means what is profit percent if loss then what is loss percent write down the given information given cost price of one dozen x 72 rupees that means cost price of 12 x one dozen means 12 so 12 x is 70 ru 72 rupees and also given selling price of one egg how much four find out selling price of 12 x why because cost price given for 12 x that's why find the selling price for 12 x one egg is four rupees 2x is 4 into 2 that means 8 rupees 3x means 4 into 3 12 rupees and so on like that same as it is selling price of 12x means 4 into number of x that means 12 so 4 12s are 48 cost price of 12x is 72 selling price of 12x is 48 clearly cost price is greater than selling price what will get here loss loss we know how to find loss loss equals to cp minus esp substitute cp as 72 sp as 42 then 72 minus 48 will get 24 and here two questions find profit or loss so we we found we found loss and one more question find profit percent or loss percent loss that's why need not to find profit percent so loss got here that's why find out loss percent so we know that formula to find loss percent loss percent is equals to loss by cp into 100 loss how much 24 substitute 24 by cp cp is 72 into 100 so 1 by 3 how 1 by 3 see here cancellation 12 2s 12 6s 12 2s 24 12 6s 72 and again 2 1s 2 3s so how much remain 1 by 3 into 100 1 by 3 into 100 means 1 into 100 means 100 by 3 100 by 3 if we divide so we will get quotient as 33 remainder as 1 we can write this division as mixed form 33 33 1 by 3 percent so how much loss is 33 1 by 3 percent and one more problem see the problem a shopkeeper sold a TV means television by 25 percent loss if the cost price of the television is 30,000 rupees then find its selling price so reversely this problem given the previous problem given selling price and cost price asked us to find whether loss or profit or loss percentage or profit percentage but here differently loss percentage given reversely loss percentage given and cost price of the television given 30,000 asking us to find its selling price write down what is given information first of all given cost price of TV cost price of television how much 30,000 
and loss percentage loss percentage how much 25 25 loss percentage and relation between loss percent and cost price we know we know that loss percent is equals to loss by cp into 100 why this is this formula only we have to use to find sp actually to find sp the formula is loss minus cp to find sp the formula is loss minus sp how it will comes already i told loss is equals to cp minus sp that means by transporting uh, the after transposition of sp to other side then sp equals to cp minus loss to find sp the formula is cp minus loss wait 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 here cp minus loss to find sp formula is cp minus loss so here we have to find selling price cost price given if you know loss then we can tell easily selling price and we can tell easily selling price that's why we have to find loss to find loss the formula is loss percent equals to loss by cp into 100 loss percent how much given here 25 is equals to loss we don't know we have to find that one by cp cp how much given 30000 30000 in 200 next so here cancellation two zeros two zeros will get cancel and how much remain 300 so 25 is equals to loss by 300 300 is dividing transpose to other side it will multiply that means 25 into 300 is equals to loss that means loss equals to 25 into 300 So twenty-five into three hundred means seven thousand five hundred rupees. How much loss by, by selling TV? Here shopkeeper getting seven thousand five hundred rupees. Now we are having loss cost price thirty thousand loss seven seven thousand five hundred. Easily we can find selling price. We know selling price is equals to cp minus loss i told already how it will comes selling price is equals to cp minus loss straight away substitute the given values and what values we got in the formula cp is 30000 substitute loss how much we got here substitute here 7500 then simplify 30000 minus 7500 means 22500 so selling price of television is 22000 500 okay hope you understood along with this videos i i'll post worksheet go through the worksheet solve the worksheet and send me back before 4 pm have a good day